Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Hydroneer. This is just released as a 2.0 version of the game. It's got multiplayer, it's got new physics, it's got all sorts. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm super excited because I've never I've never mentioned this before. But this was one of the games that made me start my channel. It was this, Gold Rush, and then the final game that was like, sod it, I'm actually going to start making videos myself. Uh, Polybridge, of course. But yeah, always been into gold mining. So here we go. I think, is this character selection screen? We've got a character now. Oh, we can move him. Ah! All right, so first off, what sort of face do we want? I think that's the only face. Oh, but I can give myself a beard. Now, my beard probably isn't that big in real life. It's more like that one. So I guess we'll go with that one. And I guess that's closest to my hair. Although we're not, we're not far away from that at the moment. Don't get old, people. Don't get old. Anyway, we're going shirtless, of course. And we're going bottom. <laughs> Look at those pants. Okay, the only thing we're missing is a hard hat, but I think that's pretty realistic for how I spend most of my days. So we've got to enter a save name for this. So, oh my goodness. I'm so excited for the new Hydroneer 2.0 release. And it seems they added an infinitely long save file name, comma. I wonder if that's just to appease Josh or whether he thought I might try it myself too? Question mark. Anyway, here we are at the first claim. It's called Ember Cradle. And as you can see, it's got a bridge. It It's lost It's lost the dams that I built. The golden dam. It's not here anymore. But anyway, to show you how this works, over here we have a shovel. So we grab the shovel. Oh, it's a dull shovel. Tier one. They've got different tiers. Oh, that is exciting. Anyway, we can then dig a hole. We can dig holes anywhere. The deformation is awesome. You can even take this and like plonk it like I want, I want dirt there. So we've got dirt there now. And you can do it again and again. And within no time, you've built a poo across the river. And after a bit more digging, till it's the next day and you've built your own bridge. Oh, this took so long and it looks so cursed. But still, a poo bridge is better than no bridge, right? Anyway, what you're actually meant to do in this game is you dig a little dirt. You place it in this bucket they provided for you. Dig a bit more. Keep going until your bucket is full. And then you take the brush out, plonk it over there. And then with this dirt, we want to plop that in the bucket or the pan. I think that's called a pan. And then we accidentally drop our bucket in the water, but it wasn't accidental because now it's filled with water. So we can drop that in there. And now with our pan filled with dirt and water, we can do the old gold mining trick of giving it a brush. And we've got some iron ore. No. And we've got some iron ore. No. And we've got some gold. Yes. So we run over very excitedly past the shop. Oh, look, there's a new thing over there. Over this bridge and up to the jeweler where we can plonk this on the table and look it's worth money so we can press the button and we now have five gold although it's not gold it's silver and it's c c for quid i think anyway we'll leave that there for a second oh well i thought that was a very well endowed person then but it's, it's just their sword hilt uh, but there's also a stock market here if you want to choose to sell your items that way but yes anyway i think we'll take our five quid and we'll head into the shop and see what we can buy to make our job easier now things are sort of similar to before but they're all like tiered so these are forge iron What's this? A hand sorter. Pour resources into the sorter to split out the resource type. Oh, cool. But as you can see, most things cost more than five coins. So we need to do a bit more mining. And thankfully, gravity doesn't affect dirt in your bucket. So you, your bucket can be upside down. You can literally dig and just plonk in like four scoops. We can then bring that back up, drop that into our pan, give it a brush. Within no time, our pan is filled with loads of resources. So as before, we've got iron, which we can sell. We've got gold we can sell. We've also got this. Ooh, a shark. It's a mysterious crystal shard used to power mining machines. So we won't sell that. We'll leave that in there, I guess. Uh, but we'll take this pan up to the shop, plonk onto the table. Oh no, we've lost a few. We've lost a few. Then we can sell for 63. That took me ages. Anyway, we'll grab our 63 coins, plonk it in the bucket, do some more mining. So eventually we have enough to come over to here. Craftable in ice helm. So these are used tier one machines. So we can buy a forged iron harvester for 300. 20 quid and a forged iron drill for 432 quid so we'll start with the drill we're carrying this over yes there's no inventory in this game it's all in your hands and basically we can plonk this down somewhere on the map somewhere like there now as the sun is setting you'll see on the back of this there's a hole because we've got to power this with water the game is called hydroneer everything runs on water so over to this shop where we can buy things like water intakes 
pipes, corners, pressure tanks, and all sorts. Basically, after buying lots of bits and bobs, we can grab this. You can shove that there. So that will suck up water. You can see the water is coming out. It's actually one of the most annoying noises in video game history, which is why I was very pleased to see in the update, you can literally take the water pipe sounds and turn them down. So after hours and hours of building, that gets brutal. Anyway, next up, we have some normal pipe, and then we have this one. Now, if we open this, this is where that crystal goes that we found earlier. So we'll grab the crystal, we'll plonk it in there, and then when we close that off, this will make the water a lot more powerful, meaning these machines will actually get powered. But first, we need to set these up in a way. I think that's where the dirt comes out, although now you can see it's not tall enough. So can we grab this one? Can we? No, I think we have to do some digging. Aha, there we go. So that is underground. I still need to dig like a suitable hole for this. I probably should have used this dirt to make my bridge, if I'm honest. But as long as there's a little hole for my bucket to go like that, hopefully we should be good. The resources should come out. However, we need to we need to do some more digging behind there because we got to get the pipes under. Although maybe pipes go through the ground and right, with a few more bits of pipe in like that, we should be ready to go. It's a bit of a mess. I <laughs> I won't lie to you, it's a bit of a mess. But let's close this up. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Shove the crystal in, close that up finally. And now, is it working? I think it's working. So I think we just turn the machine on by clicking that. Oh no, there's no dirt underneath because there's a pipe. <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on. Can I cheat? Can I do that? Can I just shove dirt under there myself? Yes, yes. <laughs> so you can see dirt comes out of there, goes into this machine, and this machine turns it straight into gold and iron and all sorts. Ah, oh, and now we can relax. Now we can enjoy our bridge, knowing that over there we're making money. And then as we gain more money, we can expand this operation. Uh, but it's quite important to remember, as this shovel says, the deeper you dig, the better the resource is. Now we're only at surface level, so we need to go underground. Now, having played this game quite a bit before, I know that this is a very shallow dig site. So we're going to go on a bit of a tour to see what they've added, because I've heard there's lots of new places to mine and things. And if we look on this world map, it's true. There's loads, whoa, there's loads of places. Snow Rune Falls, Ice Helm. Nice. So let's go have a look and see where the best place to dig is. So we're in the hydro truck. I wonder if they've fixed this to not glitch out everywhere. It now has smoke physics though. Smoke physics for the win. Oh, I'm disappointing. I, I'm not going to lie. Right, right. Hang on, hang on. Let's get out of this. Let's get out. Max, I gave you one bit of advice if you wanted this game to sell. <laughs> Fix this bridge. It's, it's not nice. Like the purpose of a bridge is not just to connect A to B, but it's to keep the river usable. Look, you can't get through there if you're on a boat or whatever you're doing down there. Not happy, Max, the developer. Although saying that, I think he's made it wider so we don't fall off as easily anymore. Anyway, we'll go for a wander around here and <gasps> what is that? That's a new bridge. Oh God, my truck's still going. My truck's still going. But that is a new bridge. I think it's time for a bridge review. Oh man, this is so much better than the other bridge. Not only does it actually work, you can get under but it's a beautiful stone arch. Yeah, at the top is a little bit ropey. It's a bit bumpy. There's no there's no safety barriers. But I'd have to say this is probably a 7.9 out of 10 bridge review. Anyway, this is Mildew's Aquifer. Oh, what are these? It's like a map, is there? Interesting. Oh, and it only costs 970. I feel like that's quite cheap compared to what it was. Anyway, we know all about this place, so we're going to keep on driving. Though we're not really meant to go this way. But we're going to go over the bridge and see what is over this way. Oh, God. Oh, it is. It is bumpy. It is bumpy. Anyway, now we are in the snowy mountains. What is in here? Oh, it's a shop. Stone ball. Ooh, stone items. Very nice. Quite reasonably priced as well. What is through here? What is this? It's a lift. Should I go down the lift? Oh, we're going down. We are going down. Oh, it's a long way down. What is this? <laughs> There's like lava everywhere. Okay, I literally was not expecting this to be here. What even is this? So we've got some like instructions via the form of hieroglyphs. So hammer the brick wall. Is this an underground mine? 7,200. We have some sort of conveyor there. And that goes up along these. Oh, is this like an automatic mine? Oh, so I park my truck up the top and any resources I put in here go up to it. So is this all mineable? Will the lava kill me? It's very bright. No, I got I got fancy shoes on. Don't worry. Anyway, along this walkway, is this where we came from initially? Yeah, okay. This is where I was before. So tools and equipment. Ah, oh, there's a shop with conveyors and things. A vertical conveyor. Blimey, that is steep. Look at that. Ooh, a gem polisher that goes on a conveyor. That's useful. What the frig are these? Masterwork designs. Okay, there's a lot going on. There is a lot going on. We need to save up 
up to buy this place. Yeah, lots of things to figure out later on, I think. But for now, we'll head back up to the surface. We'll try and work out where would I have to park my truck? Oh, it's here. It's here. So if we park our truck here, any resources we collect down there will come up. Likewise, we can send things back down via that. Interesting. So that was Ice Helm. If we carry on going, we'll get to Snow Rune Falls the other new area so we come out of here we go right and then we just head along this path aha snow rune falls so how much does this one cost seven thousand so i'm guessing it's pretty similar to the underground one uh, it's all snowy though okay right well i need to do some grinding until we're ready to buy one of these new areas i think so i'll see you in a minute all right so i was wandering around trying to find where i left my truck and uh i found it <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. Now it's up there. How do I get that back? Anyway, after a bit of parkour, I got my way back in. And... <laughs> you know what? I'm glad they didn't fix this glitch. Like, this truck. Uh, it's sort of... It's renowned for doing this in the early game. I'm glad it still sort of does this. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. I can literally... I can control this. So we can go that way. We can go this way. Um, I do actually want to use this again, though. Hey, look. Dre was here. Anyway, let's unstuck us. And that should... Oh... How about recall nearest vehicle? It just flies off. Aha, I've reloaded the save and I think we're good. I think we're good. Right, back to our original claim. Okay, what is going on down there? That thing really needs a handbrake. Okay, so we've got two problems, it looks like. One, the stuff hasn't gone into the bucket. Two, it's broken. So let's grab the bucket. Oh, dear. Dear. All right, well, some stuff is in there. We just don't have, like, all the good stuff. So let's just grab this, sell it in the shop, and then can I buy... Uh, what is... Throwable TNT? So how does this work? Do I literally just... Oh, it's sparking. And then... Ow. Oh, we've got a little hole. Anyway, what I really need to buy is a tool bag. They're quite expensive. I can buy just a single spanner, though. And then I can take this over to this machine and we can give it a bit of a fix. And look, now we're making money again. Although I've just remembered there's no bucket down there anymore. Anyway, you may remember from this game to make serious money. You don't just want to sell the stones like the ore. You've got to invest it in jewelry. So we're going to need a crucible, a small furnace, an anvil, a casting mold, as well as a blacksmith hammer. And I Ideally, a grinding wheel. Now, if we place the furnace down, you see it lights up. Nice. Then we can shove the crucible in there, and then any objects we put in there will melt. Now, unfortunately, these are all mixed up, but if we could separate them out, means we'd be able to just take the gold and perhaps place them straight into there where they melt. Now, after adding enough gold to fill it to the brim, we can grab that and we can pour it into this mold. And now we have a gold bar, which we can heat up in there. We can come over to our pile and pick probably this nice green one. As you can see on the bottom left, this an uncut emerald so if we shove it in there it's ooh very shiny so we plonk it on the anvil select a recipe and then place the heated bar on there give it a whack with our hammer and look we've got a bit of jewelry and when we take this up to the jewelers surprise surprise we are now rolling in cash so a few hours later we finally have enough to buy this plot uh, and honestly i'm a bit unsure how we're going to use this pot generally we need water but it's all snowy up here anyway we've also got a truck full of stuff uh, so that we can start our mining operation but first i'm gonna grab the pickaxe we're gonna go like i don't know somewhere in the middle and we're gonna do something that you should never do in mining video games we're gonna mine straight down aha and we've hit the bottom i believe uh, it's quite a long way down here uh, i haven't really thought about how we get out but yeah there's no underwater aquifer which is a little bit bit scary oh but there's water here there's water here okay not really sure how i missed that oh no they haven't they haven't have they look at my pickaxe i feel like they've added degradation to the game <laughs> Why, devs? Your game already takes, like, far too long to do anything. And now we need to replace tools, do we? Okay. Anyway, let's get some of this set up. This is the Cloutium intake water pipe. It's, like, sort of a... It's a higher level one. You can see it down there. You get 250% pressure, so worth the extra cost. Anyway, I just ran to the shop to buy a nuke because I want to I wanna make some space down there. My bloody truck's disappeared again. I'm pretty sure there's still some stuff in the boot as well. Anyway, we're going to drop that down the hole. We're going to drop this nuke down the hole hopefully it won't go off oh it might not even fit all right there it goes there it goes anyway standing well back we're able to oh my goodness oh wow i feel like they've have they made them bigger they may have made them bigger uh, it's still it's still a long way down there we might have to do a few more of these all right anyway with that down the hole a little bit we can just pull the trigger and ow now i've unstuck myself look it's beautiful but as you can see it's it's not quite deep enough there's still 
there's still more hole to go although we are we are nearly there maybe one more All right you can see we're nearly there we're on the final nuke so we'll just blow this up and here we are at the bottom where the best resources are so if we just unstock ourselves back to the surface all we have to do now is get our water from that pipe there all the way over in this hole and then all the way to the bottom <laughs> i feel like that's going to be a lot of pipe All right so set off another nuke at the bottom you can see how deep it is the mushroom cloud doesn't even leave yeah but hopefully the idea is i can get closer and closer to the water over there because i don't really want to do miles and miles of pipe All right so it's taking me a freaking long time but we finally got some pipe work over to our experience exploded hole and i was just about to think about doing a vertical straight down but then i was like i should probably see how these conveyors work because they look a bit different than what i'm used to all right looking at this one it looks great yes very very vertical for the slope however bottom left it says hooks onto pipes oh i literally i can't place this wherever i want i can only put them on pipes i was like well how do i actually go uphill then can i just do one like above the pipe like that no but you can see they do clip onto corners so i think we just got to do pipe work going like diagonally up one thing i'm not sure about that i want to check if i were to do that that way why, why are you not moving ah because you're open let's close you up so that is moving upwards which is the same direction as the water i want to know if i were to rotate that oh it still goes that way okay that's fantastic because what that means rather than doing like a straight down vertical head here, I could do like a zigzag all the way up and that could be a conveyor. Oh, it's going to take so long. So first things first, I'll probably take this off and I should probably build it from the bottom so I know where I'm building it from. So I guess something like that will have conveyors going all the way up and then we'll just have to take the water over that way. At least with conveyor belts going both directions, that's good. All right, so here we are at the bottom of my hole. There's a load of the corner pieces. I've just got to put them together now. It's like Lego, just not as fun. <laughs> Right, I'm sort of at that point where I'm living in regret. So we're nearly there. hours and hours later. The pile has gone down. There's I actually got way too many. So we grab these and then we literally head our way up here, jumping all the way up. And then we just need to mine our way up using this pickaxe. It's very, very slow. Look how much I've had to pickaxe already. Get annoyed because it won't let us place it where we want to place it. <laughs> but be somewhat relieved that we've made it to the surface if I can just get my way out. Oh, fresh air. We're actually quite close. So we'll just plonk the last few up there. And then all we need to do is go and buy loads more of these. And then I think we can just place them, yeah, like that. The trouble is I now can't climb up there. So we might have to start from the top. Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna have to clear out a lot more space to sort of get these to fit in this hole. Yeah, because they're gonna go sort of there. So we need way more headroom. We better get the pickaxe out. I'll see See you in another few hours, I guess. All right, so down there, conveyors are done all the way up. Good clearance. And then we've got them going along this pipe. I've put this here, so the idea is the dirt comes up. It should drop into there. And then I've put a little pipe splitter. We're going to use a couple of bends. So one there one like that and then hopefully we can sit a conveyor on top of that so that's good hopefully all the gems will come out there and then over here i've got these splittery ones now these have replaced the old splitters i'm not entirely sure how they work oh do they only go one direction so is that forward and left from this side or is it from this side i don't know i think we'll have to turn on the machine and see we might have to rotate all of these but uh, let's do all the in-betweeny stuff so basically i just want a straight and then a T, straight, and then a T. All the straight bits have a straight conveyor on. All these split ones have a split conveyor. I'm, I reckon, yeah, I think I gotta, I gotta rotate those. So that's quite annoying. But still, at least we know what we're doing now. Because the idea, as all the different resources come off there, I think you now put the different resources on top. So you put like a block of gold on there, a bit of iron ore on there, a bit of cloutium, whatever resource. And I think they get like separated. So they'll come off this way. So if we place pipes coming off here, we can then put conveyors on top of these before putting that there. So I might put like a ramped conveyor here just so that the resources drop into these crucibles. And these are just what we saw earlier, but they're like built in. So they automatically make bars. Very useful. Saves you fanning around manually. Uh, I also need to put this on. This is like the grindy thing, but it's now 
it now allows you to put them like anywhere. So all street conveyors are just street conveyors and they have different attachments on top. Very cool. Anyway, they are all sorted. We'll just need one of each resource to go on top so they can literally be sorted. Uh, let me just show you what I've done down here. So we'll jump down the nuke hole. Uh, so at the moment, we've just got four of these drills down here. And you see, this is a forged iron drill. I haven't quite worked out how to get the better ones yet because uh, these are just like the used ones from the original shop but uh, i just need some t-pipes and a few bendy pipes and then they should all be plugged in and we should be ready to go all right that's all sorted i will need a cork to go in that pipe i think because otherwise that would just be dripping oh i need a i need a straight bill conveyor damn it all right and there we go i think I think we're all good. Yeah, so one other thing, this is a gem polisher hook. So wherever the gems come out, I guess this end, we can shove a conveyor on there and then shove those on and that should polish the gems. Again, we'll just need to go get some corks because all of these ends will lower the pressure of the system. Speaking of which, that's one other thing that's new as well. Look, we've got like add-on things. So that tells you the pressure. I'll probably put that make up here. They literally click onto the pipe now, which is very cool. Yeah, this is filter. So as before, we need filters to stop the network getting dirty water and everything breaking. And apparently that does the lot. So I've only got a single shard at the moment, but uh, we'll shove that in just to see how the network works. But are you ready? Let's close her up and let's go have a look. So all the conveyors are moving. They look like they're all moving the right direction. What does that say? One, two, two. I assume that's quite good for power. Not a clue. Finally, let's jump down the hole and see if we're doing any mining. We're not yet because I forgot to turn them on. So turn them on. Oh, they're all on. Oh, is it because I've... Oh, idiot, Matt. Oh. Oh, don't say is that actually what's happened All right let me grab this pickaxe and let me show you so this is a common pickaxe it's tier two however you'll notice down here i haven't done any hand digging this was all done with nukes because i can't actually dig that deep i reckon there's different tiers of those and these are too deep no i've spent all this time time for nothing also water pressure really is not making it down here i think we're gonna need to make a battery first or it might be because our shard has completely been used up well i guess the only successful mining we're doing today is this nightmare oh look how terrible this is right we need to we need to fix this we need to earn some cash we need to try and unlock some later drills uh but for now i'm gonna say peace love and two bridges bye guys <laughs>